I am Phil Berman from Balance Catamarans. I'm in the Victoria and Alfred waterfront here in Cape Town. Uh, today marks uh, an exciting chapter in the history of Balance Catamarans. Uh, I'm standing on the first Balance 482. Uh, she's called Golden Hour. And um, we're just excited. We actually sea trawled the boat today and I thought it would be fun to give everybody a first peak walkthrough of the boat. So right now we're gonna walk through the boat and I'm gonna explain her to you. So I'm in the cockpit of the 482 and I might just briefly say that the reason for the 482 is we had people just clamoring for some smaller versions of our bigger 526. And so we created the 482. In addition to that, we created the 442. So I'm gonna walk you through here to just take a look at the, the cockpit. So one of the features that distinguishes our boats now is that all of our uh, tables also drop down to become a bed. So this can become, you know, a huge lounge or an outdoor sleep, uh, uh, sleeping area. If you walk over here, you'll see that we have a large lounge across here, which you can prop up a pillow and read on. One of the things on the 482 that's a little new and different is we, we have a big grill area. This is a space where people can put an electric grill and also or a sink if they wish. Most of the people that are getting these boats now are getting lithium ion batteries and they're doing away with propane. Uh, to the extent you cannot have propane on, on your boat, you're safer just in general and your insurance rates will be lower because the really the most catastrophic thing that can happen on, on a catamaran is that it would catch on fire because ultimately these boats are, are buoyant and even if the hulls are punctured, they will still float. Underneath here, there's a big storage locker. Here we have uh, another aft lounge where you can kind of lay down and read, sit down and hang out. And the way we've designed this is that everybody's facing each other in something like an oval nature. So you could have a party on a boat like this and have many people on board and they're all looking at each other and able to communicate. Um, underneath here is just a big, big storage locker. Uh, in the salon, um, or in the, uh, I'm sorry, in the cockpit seating, then you've got big storage underneath here. You may recall that in our uh, 526s, we used to have a big locker here because this was where we would put the propane bottles. So going forward on the 42 or the 526, those that are doing away with propane on their boats and going with convection ovens, um, this all becomes seating. And as I walk across, you'll see that we have the signature Versa helm, which we introduced here actually in the waterfront in 2015. It's since been copied by other people, but nobody's quite got it like we do. And it's all dialed in. Um, one big change on, on this model is that we used to have a, a post here. We decided to remove that post so that this window slides open so that you have this really huge open space and connection between people inside and outside. So you can see when you're in the boat, the connectivity uh, between the inside and the outside. Um, it's just really actually just extraordinary. Um, with the Versa helm, you know, as always, we've got three different catches on it now. So you can have it in a mid point and a straight up point. So when you're reefing, it can be in this midpoint. There's a stop for it. Um, so there you see one of the stops. And then you can drop it all the way down. You have four different stops on the quadrant of where you want the, the, the wheel to be. Um, we have electric operated foot pedals for the boat. The winches will be on top. I'll show you that later in the uh, deck walkthrough. Um, we decided to create kind of a really cool looking sculptural helm seat, which is, I think, really quite aesthetically pretty. Um, we're all about things looking pretty and modern at balance. Um, when you enter the boat, you see that it's flush between the two spaces. This is a large drain um, here for the cockpit. And um, now I'm walking into the, to the primary saloon. One feature that's neat is that we created this new arm so that if people want to watch television outside, they can turn this and see it from the cockpit. 
and, and also wirelessly you can run all of your charts on here so you can have this become another huge GPS plotter and what's nice about that is that when the uh, settee table is dropped and cushions are put in and you're just lounging out here and reading and stuff you can have your charts displayed up here but you can also watch videos and movies and that sort of thing so it's a great place for the family to hang out or kids and that sort of thing of course we have um, two fridge freezers these can be either freezers or fridges all freezers all fridges so you have complete adjustability with these it's really really nice um, in the um, in the galley we have a, a kind of really special sink that has um, boards that can be lifted up and special drain special drains so that you can use this to drain dishes it's very cool on this boat we've got a, 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 a Kenyan electric stove uh, uh, cooktops and then we've got a convection stove and oven over here for fun um, we hired some South African artists to do a, a wire art sculpture of a balanced catamaran wire arts a very very popular thing in South Africa and um, it's amazing what people can do here um, crafts wise with wire and things so you have your nice galley several drawers um, you have drawers underneath the salon you can lift up these cushions you have storage in the back you can have a, a classic nav station here and put a chart plotter or what have you what we've learned is that most people end up using this as a desk because when you've got a chart plotter outside uh, or an iPad and you're laying down you don't need to have a traditional nav station anymore but what you really need is an office so we created um, drawers on, uh, uh, on both sides and, and, and storage so it works really really well um, of course we have the highly uh, vertical windows with a big brow over them so that when then these windows can be left open in a rainstorm and you can still get ventilation in the boat um, our biggest concern with big opening windows in forward parts of the boat is that you get any water inside right underneath here is where you have all of your lithium batteries and all of your heavy items and electrical equipment and it's quite dangerous if you get water inside the boat so it's very important to us that no matter what when the windows are open if somebody forgets the chances of water coming in with the brow keep that from happening so for us it's a safety feature um, so um, why don't we walk down and take a look at the port hall. So I'm in the port hall now and um, you'll see we've got a really nice uh, carbon fiber uh, grab rail to walk down on and then you walk down on the tread stairs. Um, when you come down to the landing uh, I'll go ahead and take you forward. <clears throat> So, so, so I'm in, now I'm in the um, port hall, uh, in the forward section of the hall. As you can see, this boat was done in the zebra wood, uh, which has become popular with a lot of our people. And we matched the zebra with a lot of white wood because the zebra is quite busy and it gives it a more modern look when it's balanced like that. Um, one thing that's different about the 482 is because it's a slightly smaller boat, obviously, in, and it also has less beam than the 526, we have the shower. A separate shower locker amidships here and this is just a complete wet shower locker on the on the port side what we call the guest side of the boat and inside this cabin also is the escape hatch which is down um, on the lower section which is a good place to have an escape hatch because in our experience these windows tend to leak and it's nice to have them in a place where if they do leak it just goes into a drain and you don't have to worry about it um, again lots of storage and hanging lockers and then I'm going to walk forward and now I'm in the uh, port master cabin um, this whole bulkhead here is secured off 
and we have a large deck hatch just on the other side of this which becomes a big sail locker. Um, we've done the boat up in a little surf art so we think you'll you'll like that because um, we're all kind of surfers at, 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 at Balanced Catamarans we must confess. Um, and then you've got this beautiful um, you know queen actually larger than a queen cabin uh, really quality mattresses not just um, cheap ones and then over the um, top in the center of the bed you'll see that there's an opening um, port there that can be opened up because the hatch on deck can be opened up and it's a wet locker so air can be blowing through and coming into the boat even when it's raining outside so that if the overhead hatch needs to be closed for rain you can still get nice natural airflow coming through the boat um, we've got usb ports and and sockets and everything uh, speakers this is the the integrated air conditioning duct that we do in composite so that it comes around and, and up it gives you great flow uh, and actually it might be a little harder to see but i'm going to turn past my camera person and show you that you've got a big hanging locker here and lockers here and lockers here um, and then you have two port two opening ports on the outboard side you have a an adjustable caframo fan and you'll see that we did some nice sort of led recess lighting mood lighting um, behind the um, behind the bed so it's, it's very very attractive and, and quite comfortable now i'm going to walk up or aft actually in the port hall and on the inboard side on the outboard side I'm sorry you'll see that we have um, a toilet and vanity area quite spacious and comfortable plenty of place to store things And then, of course, in keeping with our surfing nature, we have a guy who's just pulled himself out of a nice green tube. And coming forward, or coming aft again, why do I keep saying that? We have the large queen size aft cabin. And we, on the, all the newer boats, both the 526 and 42 and the 442, we have a very, very large window in the back. And we have an opening port underneath the long step so that that can be left open when it's raining and you can still get airflow through the boat. These are all opening storage lockers. And then, excuse me, and then on this side here, we have two hanging lockers for storage. And then, of course, there's a lot of storage underneath the bed. And then there's also storage on this side here. I'm going to walk now up back into the saloon and now I'm in the saloon over on the starboard side of the boat and I'm going to take you down to take a look at the uh, starboard owner's hall. So now I'm back in the big signature shower for the boat. There's um, sitting for two what we find we use this for a lot is a wet locker. Many, many of us will put a, um, a, a pole across here to hang wet clothing and things like that or to dry things. Once again, you have the big window and the opening port. This is a big um, storage linen locker in here. Um, so it's a super comfortable area. Here you have access to the VersaHelm um, pulleys and, and lines that come back. You've got your vanity locker and, and storage and tons of drawers. I mean, it's a super comfortable shower. That's for darn sure. Um, and now I'm going to walk forward into the owner's hall. Shut the door there to the bathroom. And then this is a big, uh, can you, are you, this is a, a large, two big drawers and a locker here. Um, opening port there and then if I walk forward a bit you have your integral electrical panel here and then inside here you have beautifully wired 
breakers and all in easy access. As you can see, storage, 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 storage. Here's where the washer dryer goes in this cabinet here. So it's just a really beautiful owner suite with lots of lots of great storage. Then as I um, come forward uh, into the owner's suite, like the other side, it's mirrored in the sense that you've got the port above the bed, you have the uh, reading lights and the little storage areas, you've got cabinetry on the outside. What's different about this side on the 482 and a lot of our boats going forward is that this now is an opening door and it leads to the bow. So I'm now in the pointy bow of the boat. We put a little uh, shelving here and we put a vise for anybody that wants to do a workshop and you can put rails along here to hang lines. We can put more shelving for people. We can also use it to attach cushions to the side. It's a great place to throw in some surfboards, kite gear, all kinds of stuff. And people tend to organize these kinds of spaces as they wish. Um, to my right, which you can't see, is the escape hatch on this side. And overhead here is an opening hatch. And then there are steps to my right that go up to the deck. You have a fusion stereo <coughs> system here <coughs> and um, your air con. So it's really quite similar, you know, in that sense to the to the other side of the boat and two opening ports and a big Caframo fan here. And then on the opposite wall, there's also a Caframo fan on that side. Sorry. And then there's another Caframo fan here. And again, the recessed lighting, and there's also lighting above me here on these areas, so it adds a really nice mood. You can turn off the um, primary lights, just to the reading lights. You can turn those off, you can turn those off. So you've got a lot of light flexibility in here in terms of the mood that you want to set. Yeah, so now I'm going to walk back up into the main salon and then um, we'll go take a look at the deck of the boat. We'll do kind of a deck walk around. So I'll see you in a sec. All right, so we're going to take a look at the deck of the 482 and talk about that. So what we've done is we had custom made aluminum stanchions that um, we had done in, in a black finish. We thought it looked really cool. And as you can see, um, these posts are done in a titanium look stainless steel. We wanted the boat to look real cool, so we did also um, uh, black cleats, which have a balanced logo in them, carbon uh, chafe plates on the sides. This little pad right here is a step, so if you're on a dock and you need to get up to the boat, a high dock, this is a great place to put your foot and get onto the boat. You'll see that on these steps underneath, we built a little box here, and what's this for? This is for the two daggerboard cords. So you have your up and your down daggerboard cord there. Uh, this is when you want to bring the main sheet out here for sailing downwind. So then we'll step up and you'll see that there's a, a handhold here when you're coming up. And then a feature on the boat that's um, pretty unique and different is that this is a deep channel with a, a handhold and you can literally walk yourself all the way up the boat, holding on to this deep channel. But one really cool thing about this deep channel too is that we've designed it, the bimini, so that all the water comes down and drains into these channels. And you can either cork them off or they'll drain. If you cork one of them off, you can take a plastic hose over to your water tank, which is actually up there, and you can catch fresh water uh, with it. And in the old days of catamarans, water catchment was a really important thing before people had these huge, fantastic water makers. But from a safety perspective, it's really nice because obviously if you had a water maker failure, this will really catch a lot of water and a lot of great fresh water. Um, so this is kind of neat. 
And as on all of our boats, we're doing these beautiful um, raised panels with air ventilation underneath them, all with individual controllers. And they generate an, a, just an incredible amount of juice for the battery banks. You have two opening uh, hatches in the forward part of the saloon to bring air in. And then we have one that opens up to bring air into the aft cockpit. As we go forward, you'll see, if you look down, we've got the dagger boards down now uh, because we're at a deep water dock and we always find that putting the dagger boards down when we're docking makes it easier. So this is the dagger board. It's uh, captive. It will come, it will actually, it, it comes all the way up above here when we're, uh, when, when we're sailing off wind, but when we're sailing to windward, we put it down here. Going forward on the boat, on the port side, this is where the bulkhead is for the uh, port guest cabin. And then you can see we've got this really big deck locker here. And this is used for sail storage and things easy to get a spinnaker out of, easy to get a screecher out of, easy to climb in and out of, just a really nice big hatch. Um, we have the, the seats that the Dolphin Chaser seats, which are really safe and comfortable to sit in when you want to just enjoy some fresh air and, and, and look at sea life. Um, one thing that's new on all of our boats is what we call the dual launcher on. So you can't see it so well from here, but we have two parallel um, rectangular aluminum beams that come out and that join at the top. And what that does is it means that we can attach the trampoline flush and direct to those so the trampoline becomes flush and super clean and one thing you'll notice is um, the drop from the from the deck to the trampoline is nothing and that's a really huge safety feature that there's no tripping hazards really um, on this boat and no big up and up ups and downs which is really helpful the anchor now is accessed through an opening hatch so that the bridle can be attached easily, just easily and quickly, and the anchor deployed. One thing that's different um, about the 482 is we decided to bring the wet deck even further forward because we thought it might be nice to have opening uh, ports where you could throw fenders and lines and, and things like that. So there's one on either side. And then these um, have cushions in them so that you can lounge and, and sit in, in, in these with cushions. Here you've got your uh, windlass locker, your foot pedals, up and down foot pedals for the windlass locker. As on all the boats, you have the self-tending jib, which I'm holding on to. There is the uh, screecher halyard attached because we took the screecher off today. Um, and you have the electric deck winch, and once again, the line storage box. So any of these lines up on the mast, you just put in there and then slide that closed because there's a hole underneath there and there's an access bag. So um, it's a part, again, of our um, Spaghetti Reduction Act. It's a law that we passed when we designed Bob's catamarans to see if we could make line stowage easier. And that's a great innovation that um, we had on the 526 and which is carried over into the 482. Um, on, the, on the boom, we created this new um, wing system, which is a, it's a little similar to the hay rack style, but not quite. And you can either attach the lazy jacks directly to that um, or you can go with a conventional stack pack, which is what we have here. Um, walking back on the starboard side, we have a gate amidships on both sides, so you can pop the lines and climb up on the middle of the boat. And here you can see we have three winches on top, all the lines and stoppers coming back compass here and then 
I push the, the sliding top open and I'm up on up top in the in the helm and you can sit here obviously um, when you want sun if not we have an, uh, a really nice pop-up sun bimini that you just bring up and attach there's no reason to have a dodger on a balanced catamarans I, I have to stress this over and over again um, when the weather is foul or it's raining or it's cold or whatever you close this top and you pile it down below. If you have to reef, you come up, you get the job done, you go back down. Um, you can see that we have storage boxes for all the lines here, which come down into big bags. And then you step up on a little platform to do the stoppers. And you've got electric foot pedals here. We have um, the chart plotter is over here, as you can see. This is the camera looking down from the mast displaying on the plotter right now. And then you've got your wind speed depth instrument and your autopilots here. You've got your throttles over here. These throttles, um, we've designed it to, to, for those, uh, to keep it simpler, to have a single throttle. So when the helm is all the way in the up position and somebody's seeing down below, they can stand up and adjust the throttles a little bit. And it works really just fine because when you're in the down helm position, typically you're not doing a lot of throttling. It's mainly when you're up here docking the boat. Um, yeah, so it's just like a super comfortable place to be. Um, and the top just slides closed. And one thing I stress is that on these boats, when you're docking the boat, the wheel would obviously be in the up position. You can see both bows and to see the sterns, because this opens up so wide, you just kneel down and you can see that stern. So you can see all four corners of the boat. Yep. One, uh, one feature that people might not fully understand when they see the boat is when you're up on the plinth, you know, doing the reefing, we kept this section out here so that there's no way if you're getting thrown about when you're doing a reefing, there's any danger of, you know, falling off to the side. And then we added a couple of cup holders here so that you can Keep a couple cups there, which is kind of a neat thing. It works good. And um, I'll we'll walk back on deck. And once again, you see you've got a nice handhold here. You step down. And then you're on the stern of the boat. The, um, the ladder for swimming on we have it come in two pieces. Um, you can set them in place, quickly put it on, add the other piece so that um, it's not there. And one of our experiences with those stainless ladders that you know, most builders are using, I, we know the word stainless means stainless. And when you've got a stainless ladder out here, constantly subjected to salt water and the sun, invariably they're just rusting all the time and we just said, forget that. So we designed our own custom ladder, which is a black aluminum anodized material, which is easily removed and stowed away. And then you can use it when you want. And it's really robust. Um, where my foot is, this is where you access the emergency tiller system. And then here, you've got your engine rooms right here. Um, Coming across, obviously you've got your davits. Um, this boat is so new, we don't even have the tender on. You know, she's so fresh off the grill. So that's your quick video walkthrough of the 482. And um, like I say, it's a really, really exciting period for us at Balance. Um, we have, uh, this is hull number one, and we have uh, 20 of these boats on order. So everything's working apace. Um, those of you that have not seen a balanced catamaran or wish to see a 42. Our uh, plan is to have this boat in the Annapolis Boat Show this October of 2021. We'll also have a balanced 526 there. Next year, we'll have a 482 in Europe all summer. We'll be showing at Le Grand Mott and Con and all the other shows. And we're getting a lot of orders now from Europeans. They're starting to recognize, you know, the quality of our boats and the distinctness of them, um, the great experience our customers are reporting, and so. We're pretty excited about breaking into Europe and having Europeans really see our boats. COVID kind of held them back, 
Uh, but um, we'll, we'll be coming over there to Europe and we'll, and we'll be seeing you there. So until then, stay in balance and uh, hopefully we'll see you at Annapolis or an upcoming boat show.